Alright, there's a new mechanic in Tarkov with jumping and shooting. When you used to jump in the past, your gun would go to the side, but now it, like, stays still as you jump. So you actually can shoot while you jump. You get full spray, and, like, your bullets pretty much hit, like, where you're hit firing while you spray, like that. So what you can use that to do is peak angles like this, where you're going to strafe into a direction and jump, and I can shoot someone while I'm in the middle of the jump. Like that. So that's new. You couldn't do that before. But they also changed how bee hopping works. So bunny hopping was like kind of removed from the game last wave. It was just guaranteed to happen. They changed it back to a timer. If you don't know how to do that, bee hopping is when you jump off your left foot, you jump farther. If you jump off your right foot, it's like kind of short jump and weird. If you jump off your left foot, it is a longer jump so you can cover more distance. So when you're running, you can count like one, two, three, four, or like one, two in your head. And then you jump on an even number. So I just jump on like four usually. So if I'm going like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, jump on four, I go farther. If I jump on one or three, it won't go perfectly. So you can combine this in a way where you use a B hop to like peak an angle like crazy. So instead of just having to like raw peak an angle like this, where it's really awkward, you could run up to an angle like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, jump, turn, and I can do this while in midair. So I can full swing the angle and like get almost all the way across while I'm combining with the B-hop. The way that you do this is you just practice B-hopping. So get used to jumping on that fourth or that second step. It's like this, so you go a little bit farther. And while you're in the middle of the air, you're going to turn your ca camera the way that you want to go. So if I want to peek and be shooting this way while I'm B-hopping this way, I turn here. And I'm going to hold down the strafe key, so A in this case, and jump at the same time. If you don't turn perfectly, like if you're off center, you'll lose a lot of momentum and it'll look very awkward. It looks like this. It's like this. And if I try and like strafe, it's like very awkward where I don't go very far and I'm like, no, nah, I'm just going to die here. But if I go the correct way, right, hit a B hop, I turn mid air and then I strafe perfectly. If I turn perfectly, jump, I cover a large distance. Here, come this way. Come this way. This is a long hallway, so I can't get all the way across, but on shorter hallways like this, it looks absolutely insane. So, like, in this case, instead of peeking this way, where I have a left-hand peek and I die, left-hand peeks are very bad. If I peek this way, I can come over and I can do my B-hop. Turn. And I can jump across, and, like, now I'm pretty much all the way behind the wall. So, like, I can even re-peek this off the B-hop. So, I can jump all the way through. Jump on four, turn. And I could, like, get a midair, and then I could, like, literally re-peak this. And, like, now I'm in a really good spot. Where I got off a left hand, and I'm stuck here. You could even, like, use it a step further if you go on top of a box like this. Turn, rotate. I'm on the box. Or, I guess I missed the box. But you get on the box from the jump. And then you could, like, peek off the box as well, so you're off a weird angle. But again, you just do your B-hop. So, practice counting to two or four. Jump on four here. Turn while you're in the air, hold the strafe key, and jump like that. No, it's definitely worth it. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna always kill you, but like, if I'm stuck on a left hand peak, it's so good because I'm gonna be, have a right hand afterwards. Can you stand like here? Like, yeah, chill right, right here. You can also use this to like, just like chill right there, yeah. There's a weird situation that happens sometimes if I wanna get like a right hand peak to peak this guy. If I wanna run past and like free look, and he's like here, I have to turn my like, camera my hand really far to the right this way and if he's gonna push me when i get to here i have to like my hands are already super far turned to the right and i have to go even farther right to try and snap on him and get out of the way and like it's hard to track him when he's here you can do the b hop and then turn and then i can jump past and i can shoot him here and i'm like my wrist isn't extended it's like in a regular position i'm gonna try and kill you on this one all right so just get ready for it Like, I get him there, and I'm in the position to where I, like, have a re-peak. So instead of it being really awkward where I run past, and my arm doesn't, like, want to turn right because it's already super far turned, I now have my mouse position in the right spot. I do my B-hop. I turn in the air. I jump again. And I get a peek here where I can shoot him. And then I, I'm already behind cover. So now I could, like, re-peak. And, like, I'm in a really good spot instead of, like, me him getting the advantage on me. What's, like, really good in doorways... Uh, gets you off a left hand. Again, like, left hand peak very bad if you don't know why. Exclamation point right in my chat or watch the video on top right. But instead of getting killed from peaking like this, you can just get across the angle and get shots off if you just do the B-hop. Turn in the air. Jump. And do that. And then you could like, you know, free fire. Like, it gets you a really good spot. So the mechanics aren't too hard if you can B-hop. So once you have the B-hop down, 
it's as simple as you're going to be running until you get to a b hop step so a two or a four and then you're going to jump on the b hop and while you're mid air you're going to turn your mouse the way that you want to be shooting so since i want to be shooting here when i peek i'm going to turn my mouse from here to here and while i'm doing that i'm going to be strafing the way that i want to peek so i'm going to go and run until it's a b hop i'm going to jump hold the strafe key and turn the way that i want to shoot all in the same action so it's jump strafe key so a in this direction and turn jump a turn that's step one once you have that done all it's going to be is you holding down the strafe key and jumping again so you're chaining two jumps together if you don't perfectly turn the right way you'll have like a weird jump where you don't really go too far if you do it right it's going to be a b hop once you jump like this jump hold on the a key turn and i go again and i cover a lot of distance this way now if you don't turn properly the b hop won't go through on my second jump it'll be like really weird and i got killed so make sure that after you do the b hop you turn perfectly if you don't it looks like this where i try to jump and like i get caught in the middle of the open notice when i do it most times i'm like over on this side i'm pretty much at the wall that's how i get across like small doorways if you don't turn the right way it'll definitely get you killed so make sure you're practicing this first part because it makes up for the second part Okay, so after filming the first mechanic that I was showing you, the jump peek, Reza in my chat was practicing in offline mode, and he found that you can use this to unpeek as well as, like, commit to a peek. So instead of, like, using the b-hop to jump across the angle, you need to jump back and, like, insta unpeek. So you do the same mechanic where you're going to do the b-hop, and you're going to b-hop into the open, turn, and then jump back. So you can instantly unpeek off an angle. So it's literally the same mechanic as you're doing, where you're jumping on the b-hop, but you're gonna, you're gonna jump, b-hop, and turn the way that we were before. Instead of strafing into the open though, we strafe backwards and jump. So you're just reversing the strafe key. It's the same exact thing. So you can go like this, turn, jump back. So it's the same thing, b-hop, I'm gonna hold the A key here, and jump back. That's literally just it. So turn the way that I wanna shoot, jumping back. You use this reactively as well, where like if I wanna b-hop, so like, let's say I want to jump across this hallway. I think he's like maybe back there. I could try and b-hop the hallway. And as I see him, I go, oh shit. And I like turn my mouse and jump back. So instead of like being caught in the open where normally I'd be like caught here. And I'd be like, oh, I'm dead. Because he's right here. It's like really weird 50-50. I could literally just go to b-hop in the open. And I go, oh shit. And I could jump back. Like now I'm behind cover. So it's a really like reactive way to play the game. And I didn't even think of this. So shout out to Reza in my chat for uh, figuring this out. So... You can commit to the full peak if you do the jump across, right, like this. Better for, like, short angles, like that doorway that we were looking at earlier. But for long angles, I think jumping back is better. Where you can, like, peek this way, and then peek back. Like, it's so fast. It's, like, definitely an in-the-air timing. Yeah, okay, like that. You want to wait to shoot. Okay, if you shoot too early... If I shoot too early, I was, like, whiffing on him, hitting his arms only. Because, like, when you first jump backwards... Your gun does this, like, weird thing, like, when you come out of a sprint, like, it shoots to the ground. You see, like, my bullet hits here. I come out of, like, a sprint, my bullet hits to the ground. It does that if I, like, second I jump. So, it's, like, better if I hit the, the B-hop, right? And then I jump, and I shoot after I jump. So, I want to wait to shoot. If I shoot instantly, I feel like I whiff. Like that, like, I hit the ground there. That's, like, weird. But if I wait a second, it's, like, all where I want it to go. Okay. That's pretty sick. So you can use it to like go across, say I want to go back. You can jump back, you can strafe back, or do the long peak as well. And I think long peak is like way better on an angle like this. And run peak is like way better. Or jumping back I think is better on like long angle. And then doing the like jump across is better on like short angle. It's pretty cool. Boys, that was the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Comment down below. Hit that sub button. More guys coming soon. Live every day uh, on my Twitch channel. Link in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.